What's up my fine apples? Welcome back to my channel. Since today I have the video you have all been waiting for because I have promised you this video maybe about a month and a half or two months now since I started mentioning it. I kept saying, oh, I want to do a battle of the eyeliners. Ooh, I have my favorite top three. Ooh, don't worry, it's gonna be coming soon and it never came, but it is, it's a good thing that it didn't come soon because I really, really did my research for this video. So before we get into the video, if you're not already subscribed, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and become a part of the fine apple tribe. Yes, it is fine apple fine plus apple is fine apple i received some comments saying did i hear fine apple you guys are fine in my books and i love pineapples right here so you guys are my fine apples and don't forget to click that bell so you get notified whenever i upload on the tube or else youtube ain't gonna put you on my feed so now let's get on with the video Whoop. all right guys so the reason why i didn't do the video is because i feel like i was thinking very like Okay, is it waterproof? And which one has the best application? And that was it. I have three liners that I love, boom. Then I started thinking, man, now there's things where how much is it, how some are applying, the longevity of each eyeliner. And as time went on, applicator started changing. It started becoming a little bit more difficult. So that's what I'm gonna bring to you today because I know so many people have different likes and different wants. So the three I'm gonna be comparing is the Kat Von D Trooper, the It Cosmetics Super Hero Liner, which I discovered this year, and also the Stila Eyeliner, which I know a lot of people also loved. Uh, I've never really used it as much as I did this time to really test it out. And each of these actually have pros and cons. Not one is like completely like perfect. So yeah, we're gonna get into it. So the first thing we're gonna go over is price and also the amount that you receive in each liner. And then we're gonna go just in categories from there. So the first one up, we have the It Cosmetics Super Hero Liner. This one is the most expensive and it retails for $24 and you get 0 0.018 ounces. Now the least expensive of the three that I'm trying out is the Kat Von D Trooper Liner and this one retails for $20 and you receive 0 0.019 ounces in product. Now the second highest price is the Stila Cosmetics and this one retails for $22 but for the amount of product you are only getting 0 0.016 ounces. Now let's talk about packaging. As far as the It Cosmetics, I will say this is the largest one. This can be very inconvenient to kind of hold into your makeup bag. I'm someone where I personally love to bring my eyeliners with me on the go in case anything runs. I need to make a little touch up. I usually do that. Carrying this, this is much larger than the other two. The Kat Von D and the Stila are pretty much same in size. Uh, the Stila, yeah, they're actually the same exact size. So if anything, the Kat Von D and the Stila win in packaging and the It Cosmetics is probably the least appealing just because it's so large and it kind of does like this weird little like wide base at the top and bottom. Not really sure why it does that, but it does. Also when it comes to each of these, all three of these are cruelty free. So that's always a plus because I know that that's very important to a lot of people. And also one of the extra benefits is the It Cosmetics because this has really good ingredients. That brand is just known for having really good ingredients in all of their products. It has lash enhancing ingredients like biotin, collagen, keratin, something like clay, some sort of clay. Uh, once you click the link, you can read all about it, but those are the ones that I'm familiar with and I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with. So if anything, that's always an added little benefit. So out of the three, I would say the one that has the most benefits is the It Cosmetics, so that's a winner. Now let's talk about the different shades that it comes in. For the It Cosmetics, it only comes in black. For the Trooper liner for Kat Von D, it comes in black and I also saw that they also released a dark brown shade, but it's currently sold out. In this, tr in this line because she has different types of eyeliners, but in this line specifically, that did win the Laura Ward. I for totally forgot to say that. Uh, it only comes in two different shades. And for the Stila, this one wins the category of multiple shades because this comes in black and brown, deep plum. I saw a deep navy, a blue, a charcoal, a white. It comes in a lot of different shades for this specific pen, which I was kind of surprised that since this one won like an Allure Award, you would think that this would Allure Award that this one would have like a lot of different colors. So I was kind of surprised at that. Okay, so I brought you guys in because I wanted to do some live swatches of the eyeliners themselves. I wanted to put it out there that I d uh, went ahead and picked up a brand new Stila and also a brand new Trooper and I had a brand new superhero already. So they all started at the same exact, I guess you can say birth, birth of the eyeliner. Here is the It Cosmetics. Let's do a little swatch right here. Boom. Ooh, that was kind of like a crappy swatch. Sorry, let me... Let me do another one next to it. Okay, that was a much better one. There, as you can see. Now we're going to go into the Kat Von D. I'm gonna do a thin line, and then we'll do a little bit 
of a thicker. Sorry, I was doing like some swatches because I wasn't sure if I was going to show swatches earlier and not do live swatches, but I wanted to do live. Now we're going to do the Kat Von D. Right there. Stila, I'm going to try a small line again. And then we're going to do a little bit thicker of a line. Now, when you're comparing these, you might not be able to see right off the bat, but the Stila is actually the most dark in pigment. Uh, this one is definitely more of like that true, true black. If anything, I will say that the Kat Von D Trooper and It Cosmetics look exactly the same. Now let's go over the finish. For the It Cosmetics, after testing it, this one has the most sheen and satin finish out of all of them. I think I say in the application, because I will be applying them later on in the video, uh, the It Cosmetics has the most sheen and satin finish, but I learned in Sephora, someone was telling me, one of the girls that was working there, I was like, which one is the most waterproof mess, uh, eyeliner and which one has the most matte finish? And she was explaining to me that a certain ingredient in the eyeliner that makes it waterproof is what causes the finish to become satin or to become, you know, like that kind of sheen. So you will never ever get a completely matte eyeliner that is waterproof. So that's what she was explaining to me and I remember hearing that last year. Uh, I'm not really sure what ingredient that is. So out of all of them though, I will say that It Cosmetics has the most sheen and satin finish. Finish. Next up will be Trooper, which also has sheen, but not as much as the It Cosmetics. Also keep in mind that you are in front of my studio lights, so this is obviously reflecting a lot more than it is to, to like um, the naked eye like in person. And then the next one is Stila, and these last two swatches have the least amount of sheen, and they're also waterproof. So if anything, if you're trying to pick one that looks the most matte, I would definitely go for the Stila. The Trooper and It Cosmetics look basically the same, but like I said, when you're doing your makeup and you have your liner on, like right now I'm currently wearing um, Trooper and It Cosmetics, you can't really tell that they're completely like a shine, like a sheen. In person, you can't. Remember, I have the studio lights on me, so that's why you can see a little bit of sheen going through when I close my eyes. But if I'm just out and about in natural daylight, it doesn't look as shiny. So just kind of keep that into consideration. So now we're gonna go into the comparison of the brushes. Now we're gonna start off with the It Cosmetics. This one has a really nice fine tip right there. And the one that is comparable to it is the Kat Von D. So the Kat Von D has the roses on the front. And you will see they have very similar applicators, except the Kat Von D has a much more defined tip. And the brush itself is exactly the same size, except the tip is just much sharper on the Kat Von D. I can personally see it because it's right in front of me. Uh, the It Cosmetics is just a little bit wider. I'm not sure if you guys will be able to tell. Stila. Now after using this one, this one is the one that disappointed me the most because it started to fray at the end and you can kind of see it um, during the application I show you that there's like a little hair and I ended up taking it off after so you won't see it right now because I already filmed that part. But there's the Stila right at the end. Uh, the, also, also the other thing that I noticed with the Stila is that it's much more flexible than the others. I don't know if I could really show you. See how flexible it is when you push it down? And then the next one, let's show you the It Cosmetics. It's it's a little bit flexible, but not as flexible as the Stila. And the one who probably has the most stiff brush is the Kat Von D, just because the material isn't like felt. It's an actual brush tip. And there's flexibility to it, but it's much more of a firm brush, uh, just with application wise. So I do know the Stila is the, oh no, sorry, the Stila is the most flexible and it is the longer, so that kind of makes sense. The, the It Cosmetics and also the Kat Von D are more uh, brush tips. Uh, they have the bristles, but they all go into one. And then the Stila is a felt tip. So now we're gonna go into the application of each eyeliner. I show you on my bare eye with no lashes or anything, just so you can really see it. You get to see the pigment, how it flows, the application, which one's more user friendly. So now let's go into that. First one I'm going to be doing is the Superhero Liner. Now this one has a lot of pigment that disperses out of the brush right away. And with this brush it covers a lot of area as well which I personally enjoy. I don't think like the applicator is too thick. So look how fast I did that right there. If my makeup looks funny it's because I put concealer on probably like 30 minutes ago and I haven't set the rest of my face so it's completely giving me roadmaps. So let's ignore that. Now you're gonna see the flow of how the pen works. I love how, see just when you barely touch it, 
the flow goes all the way to the end of the tip and I love that. And even though there is a larger applicator with the brush like in the middle, it has a really nice fine tip so you're still able to get that little flick. So now I'm just going to bring it in and I like how I have this point right here so I can just come right here and it still becomes really precise to make that. And then let's just fill it in. You see how easy that was just to make that wing? I love the applicator on here just because it does keep a really nice fine tip and the flow of ink comes out so easy. So that's what it looks like cleaned up. And as you can see, it does have a satin finish. I still like the finish because you're looking at it against a lot of light, so there's gonna be much more reflection against the eyeliner. When you wear it and you don't have studio lights around you, which is not common, and you just put on your mascara or your lashes, you are fine, like it looks really, really beautiful. Now next up, we're going to be doing the Stila eyeliner, and I'm gonna show you the flow of this one as well. I have noticed that the tip does dry faster than the other two. Also, if you look at the applicator right at the tip, it is getting flared out. There are some fibers coming from the applicator itself. You can cut that, but I've noticed it's been coming little by little, so just keep that in mind. The flow of this one is good as well, but it's just the tip. Like usually when I do the, the wing, it is harder to really get that ink flow out at the end. See how it's not flowing out as much? See, it is drying out. So out of all the other two, this one dries out the fastest. And I feel like I'm constantly going over and it gets thicker and thicker. So this is definitely my least favorite with application. There we go. When it was brand new, it was amazing. Like the flow was great. The applicator was great. It was super nice and dark, but this one I do have trouble after using it after some time. See, I wanna get right in there. Okay, got it. You can just get a lot more air just because you're constantly having to go over, especially in this area right here. I really try to avoid to make this super thick. Because sometimes I'll go in there and then it goes up above. I'm like, okay, great. As, oh, see, see what I'm saying? Like it's the applicator. Like, let me try to, I can always clean that up, but I'm trying to flick out the end. It's just because it's drying out. I feel like I'm constantly cleaning this pen up. But if you look at the finish of it, it doesn't have as much of a sheen as the It Cosmetics. I don't know if you personally can see it, but it looks much more matte than the It Cosmetics. So here's the Stila, here's the It Cosmetics, much more sheen. You can just see just with the lights straight on. I can also tell a difference. Uh, like I said though, in person when you're using the It Cosmetics or say for the Trooper, you can't really tell once you put on the rest of your makeup. Uh, but if anything, I will say the It Cosmetics has probably like the most sheen and then the Trooper one. This one can definitely be a little bit less user friendly, but the pigmentation and the finish is probably the most beautiful out of all of the three just because it's so black and it doesn't look as much of a satin finish as the others. It looks more matte out of all of them. Now we have a clean slate all over again. I just used a makeup wipe and just went over again with the base, but that's why I didn't want to set my concealer yet. But okay, so now let's go into the Kat Von D Trooper. Uh, I will say for this one, like I said, this is like my favorite applicator just because it's very nice and thin. It's very comparable to the It Cosmetics except it is smaller. So if anything, I will say Kat Von D probably has like the best tip. And this one, like I said, because, oops, I kind of really went in there. Like I said, since this is a smaller brush, it does take me a little bit longer to fill in these gaps right here and just to make the line, just because the tip is so precise. So if you do like a thicker line, you just have to just go over. But the good thing with a finer tip is you get more precision, so that's always good. Except I just like went right in on the inner corner like super fast, so ignore that. I love it because there is a really good flow with the tip and I can go right here and look at that. It flows right in there. Unlike the Stila, which you do have to go over a couple times. And this one you just fill in like normal. 
And a lot of the times with this applicator, I don't even have to clean up just because it becomes so sharp. I just have to fill it in. Not much to clean up though. Kind of took a little off on the end right there. See? And it just flows really beautifully. So out of all the applications, so now let's kind of compare. Um, like I said, the It Cosmetics has the most satin sheen finish out of all of them. Uh, once this one sets, it does have a satin finish as well, but not as much as the It Cosmetics. So Stila probably has the most matte looking finish. This one comes in second, the Trooper from Kat Von D. And then the one that has the most satin finish is the It Cosmetics. So now let's go into the waterproof category. Now I have some clips of me after my workout and my workout, I sweat a lot. I'm someone where I just sweat so easy. So yeah, this was very easy just to test out. It's not like I really had to do much to make myself sweat, but the Kat Von D ended up being the winner. That one was first place. It lasted, it still kept like its crisp edge. Second place was It Cosmetics. That one lasted really well, but the one that was really kind of like fading out and kind of disappearing was the Stila. That one definitely did not last throughout my whole entire workout. I'm not saying that this is going to be like your, oh, this is the eyeliner for, you know, your workout, but I'm just saying like I really tested it out with like heat, with my body getting warm and also sweat being in the sauna. So that's what it all like kind of was competing against and Kat Von D was number one. Oh my God, I had lipstick on my teeth. Did I have lipstick on my teeth the whole entire time? Wow. Let's keep it going. After all the comparisons, Kat Von D is number one because price point, it is the cheapest and it also has the most product as 0.019. Um, it has a great tip, a great ink flow. It does it, I love the packaging, how small it is. And I also don't really mind how I have to take more strokes with this one. Even though it is in the most black, it definitely can build up and it upheld like, you know, all my heat and work on all of that. So this ended up being the winner. But will I stop using my It Cosmetics? Definitely not because this one is one that I discovered this year and I absolutely loved. Uh, I will say I love both of these equally. I mean, if anything, when it really came down to everything, the nitty gritty and I had to pick one, the Trooper definitely wins. Do I see myself repurchasing the Stila? Definitely not because this one is the one that dried out the fastest and it also has the least amount of product. So that kind of also takes play into that. But yeah, I don't really see myself purchasing the Stila any, um, again, even even though it comes in multiple colors. All right, my fine apples, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I'm so glad that I was able to do all my research and test out these liners, I'm telling you. It took so long and I, I'm sorry it took like the two months, but as you can see, there's like a lot of comparison with price, the longevity, how, the tip and all of that. So there's a lot of information to test out, not just if it was waterproof and which one applied better. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a big thumbs up if you appreciate this video and you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I will see you fine apples in the next one. Mwah. Woo Here we go. It's all about you. It's all about me. It's all about what we do. Making art, you and me. Trying to find something to believe.